Hi, my name is Dan Rene, and I'm a software architect for Atlona. And in this video, I'm going to be going over how to integrate the Tessera uh, DSP product line from Biamp into the Velocity Control platform. Uh, I'm going to first start in a room that's pre-configured with a few pieces of equipment and uh, go from there. So to start, I'm going to add a new piece of technology to my room, and I'm going to search for Biamp. And there's my Tessera control protocol. So I'm going to add that. And I actually have a Tessera Forte frame uh, on my local network. So I'm going to set this to control type of Telnet. Port 23. Let's save and we will get a connection and down here um, we're going to be integrating the level control objects in um, the Tessera platform uh, currently we're going to only support level controls because we're able to subscribe to um, those objects in particular the mute and the the level values. Um, so first things first, uh, we support importing controls from the Tessera software, uh, as well as just adding uh, your own manual control. So I'm going to go and show you where in the Tessera software we have a number of uh, level controls. Uh, I'm going to focus on one level control for purposes of this video. Um, here I have a telco volume. It, it has an instance tag of VoIP VAL. And we're actually connected to the frame. So we can control the level and, of course, the mute. Uh, it has a maximum of 10 and a minimum of 40. And it is a single channel. So let's go back to velocity and how we have to uh, support this manually is Velocity references everything by a single key called the control ID. So how we have to do that with BiAMP is uh, there's three components. There's the instance tag, which uh, we need to type in VoIP. Let's see here. VoIP val. And we want to control the level. So what we do is we add a dash and then level. And there's a single channel on that control group. If there were multiple channels, we could do channel 2, channel 3. But since there's only one, we're going to control the first channel. This could be something descriptive of the control name. Uh, you know, in this case, we'd probably say it's telco volume. We'll just call it telco. And we can leave this blank or just you know, name it something else. Uh, the type is a float. Uh, the minimum was, I believe, was negative 40, and the max was 10. Yeah. And the size is 0 0.1. And let's just hit save. And what that does is it reinitializes the connection to the the uh, to Sierra frame, um, and we do that for a number of reasons to um, start any new subscribers for those values. So if I go back into here, I now see I have live two-way control and we can control the slider. So let's just ramp the volume all the way up and we see there we're at around 8.5 and let's ramp the volume all the way down and now it's down to the, the very bottom. And if we added another control, we could do the VoIP VoIP ball mute dash one and it is of type boolean and we have to hit save and then we can get control over that mute as well.
And now we just muted the channel. And we see there we've muted it. Let's go ahead and unmute from the Tessera software. And we see here we're unmuted here. So, uh, And now if we want to actually control this in, in the control screen, uh, we have to link it to uh, the velocity controls. So we're going to link uh, this to the master volume and this to the master volume mute. Hit save. And we can launch the control screen. And now we have full control over that line from the control screen, which is really great. We're, we're muted and we're at uh, negative six decimals. So, uh, OK. <clears throat> Now, if we want to, we can go into the Tessera software and instead, let's go ahead and take all of our object IDs and we go to Tools, Object ID Inspector and we see here our instance tags and the type. Uh, now, in particular, we only look at levels currently um, and so I can export that into a CSV file so I can go to a shared directory here with my Mac, and I've already got the file there, so I'm going to overwrite it. Oh, I've got to close out Excel. Got a, the file open, actually. Okay. Try to export that again. Okay, so now let's go back into velocity and let's import those controls instead of adding them manually. All right, there's that file that we just exported. Uh, as you can see there, now we have a, uh, a number of new uh, level controls. This looks like a codec volume, some sort of privacy um, level. Um, telco volume, that was the, the volume that we, imp that we were controlling manually before. Now one thing you'll notice is that the min and the max uh, are not in the export. Unfortunately, um, we are not uh, given those in that CSV. Um, now, you'll have to go in and, and manually change these uh, to the um, correct values. Uh, we do default the size to 0 0.1, so let's just go ahead and save that. And it reconnects to the frame. And here is my level one, which we have full control over. Um, so that's great. Um, I do have a, a nice feature, though, that um, can help you manage the minimum and the maximum and multiple channels per level. Um, unfortunately, the CSV that's uh, exported uh, does not have the min and max and if there were multiple channels in this um, control group. So what you can do is you can go into the, um, the CSV file and manually um, add more columns. Let me go back into that file. Object IDs, there we go. Okay. So I've uh, allowed the ability to go in and so you can add another column. So you want to really add the min, you don't have to put headers, but just for your 
purposes it might be nice to know what's going on so channels the number of channels so this is negative 40 to 10 and let's say if we had two channels in that um, line group uh, let's see how that imports so let's go ahead and save that out overwrite that existing file sure all right so let's go back and uh, and let, let's actually focus on those uh, on this VoIP delete everything but the VoIP just so that we have a clear picture of what's going on we out here all right here we go all right so now we just are focused on the VoIP and we're just going to have two channels import so let's save that Let's just re-import the controls again. And there's that file. So now we have four total controls. And as you can see, we've got channel one level, channel one mute, channel two level, channel two mute. So now there, on the frame, there is no channel two, but I was just showing how you can uh, manage that if you do have uh, levels that, with multiple channels. Uh, and that's about it for controlling levels and velocity with uh, Biamp to Sierra. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please check out our website at, at atlona.com. Thank you.